All right, so let's go to your blog uh, and the title of it, The No-Hour Work Week, Reinventing Employee Expectations for the Modern Economy. And a very well-written blog, by the way. It caught our eye, obviously. That's why we're having you on. And you talk about a couple of things, uh, how, you know, success means, uh, I'll paraphrase a little bit to make it personal for me, success at this point in my life for the wife and three daughters who are teenagers means something completely different to me than when I was 22 years old. It means sort of what you wrote about in your blog, working as little as possible, making as much money as possible so I can have a quality of life with me and my family that I want to enjoy. Now, that's just personal for me. Everyone, I'm sure, has their own personal stories, but really, the way you wrote this is what that's all about. Success is personal to everybody, and you're sort of challenging the old business models with this, aren't you? That's right. It's, it has a lot to do with our philosophy that certain things about business need to be reinvented. It's not just investing, it's also how we approach work. And we feel that it's, it's important to give people a little bit of respect about figuring out what's most important to them. Uh, rather than just overworking your employees, let them figure out what's most important so that they can actually contribute and be more efficient members of your team. And I, I love your point that you brought up here, and I'll fully agree with you. And you, and you cite the New York Times, who studied um, a handful of commencement speeches and said that the words world and love showed up far more often than the world's m words money and success. And those are commencement speeches. Those are the Steve Jobs of the world, the modern day ones, giving advice to college graduates and challenging them to, you know, do something for the world and find love in their life more so than money and success. That's fascinating. You've got it. And we talk to a lot of, uh, a lot of young people at Betterment, whether we're hiring them uh, as engineers or for other roles. Uh, or just in the course of our, our business, uh, a lot of our customers are, are younger folks. And what we're hearing from them is they're less interested in going to work at, say, you know, the Wall Street banks or whatever. A lot of them want meaning in what they're doing. They're looking for places where they can really contribute to something that's going to change the world for better. And that's, that's really wonderful to hear.